Welcome back to the channel for another Warhammer 40,000 game as the craft world of same hand are facing off against the Sutek dynasty of the Necrons. The mission we are playing today is tear down their icons. In this you score victory points for one or more objectives, two or more objectives, holding more objectives than your opponent, and at the end game for each primed explosive you have in your opponent's deployment zone. Let's take you through the forces. Today I have a Battalion Detachment and an Outriders Detachment. For my Battalion, my HQ is an Autork Skyrunner. He has the Warlord trait of Seer of the Shifting Vector, which allows him to regain command points when they're spent, both mine and my opponent's. And the relic he has is the Aegis of Eldernesh, which gives him a 2-up save and reduces damage by 1. I have two identical squads of Guardian Defenders. They both have an Eldari Missile Launcher. Deployed up at front, a unit of Rangers. They have the Gloom Field. Over here, five Wraith Guard with D Scythe and five Wraith Blades with Ghost Axe and Force Shield. A Wraith Lord with Shuriken Cannon, two Flamers, and a Ghost Glaive. A Hemlock Wraith Fighter. He has the Rune of Battle Power Protect Jinx. For my Outriders, it is led by a Farseer, Skyrunner. He has taken Guide and Doom and is armed with a Seen Spear. I have three units of three Wind Riders. They are all armed with Scatter Lasers. And a Viper with a Shuriken Cannon. In reserve, as part of my battalion detachment, I have a Falcon with Pulse Laser and Bright Lance. And within it, I have Jane Zar and a unit of Howling Banshees. The Exarch has Mirror Swords and the Exarch Power Graceful Avoidance, which gives the unit a 4-up invulnerable save. That is 1,995 points. And the secondary objectives I have taken are Assassination, Grind Them Down, and Stranglehold. Let's see what the Necrons have to offer. Okay, so here is my Necron Force for today. I'm switching things up a little by not taking the Doomsday Arc. Uh, so my Warlord here, I'm playing Sutek. I have Imhotek the Stormlord, and he has the Hypological Strategist Warlord traits. I have a Chronomancer. And a Psychomancer with the Veil of Darkness. Troops, I have a 20-man block of warriors with gas flares. A 20-man block of warriors with gas flares. And 10 immortals with Tesla carbines. Then, I've also got 5-man Lich Guard with sword and shields. The Catan Shard of the Void Dragon for the first time. A Canoptic Reanimator. Two Crypto Thralls. Uh, in reserve, I've got 10 Flayed Ones and 3 Ophidian Destroyers. And then I've also got a Canoptic Doomstalker and a Doom Scythe. And my secondary objectives are Assassination, Grind Them Down, and Engage on All Fronts. Alright, rolling off to see who gets the first turn. I rolled a 2. Yay, LDR8 has turn 1. First thing I'm going to do is roll for my strands of fate. 
what have I got there? I've got a two, two fours, five, and two sixes. So that is charge roll, two hit rolls, a wound roll, and two saves. Because I've got a farce here, I can re roll one. So I'll re roll that one. Oop, that now becomes an advanced roll. So I think I'll take the two saves and the two hits. Right, let's do some moving. In my movement phase, I have moved everything towards the enemy. So these guys are a bit far away, but they're making their way up. Guardians there plan to hold that objective. They're not there yet, but as their battle focus, they soon will be. Rangers didn't move because they're just going to sit behind there and shoot. Um, and jet bikes swarm forward. They're also battle focused, so I plan to take that objective shortly. This unit is on an objective, so it's just going to stay exactly where it is. They advanced because they're well out of range of shooting. And finally, I did bring my Falcon in on turn one, and the Banshees and Chains are have got out. Oh yeah, and finally, finally, the Hemlock Fighter is there. Uh, I wish to get as many of my secondaries as possible, so I want to kill lots of units, kill a character, and hold three objectives. Right, psychic time. In the psychic phase, the Hemlock Fighter successfully cast Jinx on that large unit of warriors and the Farseer successfully cast Guide on the Howling Banshees. Shooting time. We started with the Hemlock firing into the unit of warriors and after all is said and done, I killed four of them. Jane Zar and the Howling Banshees chose to shoot next and they managed to kill another five of the warriors. I had these two units of wind riders fire at that large unit of warriors and then move after shooting and there are no large units of warriors left. There's that large unit of warriors. Alright, there's that one. But the point is, that one's dead. Next up, I have the two missile launchers from the two guardian squads fire at the void dragon, but they both fails to cause any wounds. The rangers fired at the Void Dragon and only managed to cause a mortal wound from rolling a six. And for my final shooting the Falcon shot at the Psychomancer and killed him. Right, for charging I'm not going to charge because... Actually I said, oh, I do hold three of this. Oh! They haven't done their move yet. I'll do that in a sec. Um, yeah, do you know what? I am going to declare charges. Why not? Well, James R. failed for charge roll. And I didn't bother charging the Banshees. So, that brings my turn to an end. Um, I did get assassinate. I do hold three objectives, so I get stranglehold. And as for grinding them down, that will be determined after the Necrons first turn. So, Necrons, turn one. So, at turn one I have Directive 1 of Protocol of the Sun Storm active. That thing used its reanimation beam on them. The Chronomancer used his invon on them. Uh, that moved over there. And they moved up. And they moved. And that moved. Onto powers of the guitar. Right, so at the end of the movement phase, the Catan Shard did three mortal wounds to Jane Zar and two to the Falcon. Onto shooting. I also forgot to mention that Imhotek did my will be done on the Lich Guard and the Warriors. So, I started with the Catan Shard. He uh, did some wounds on the Falcon. And then they shot at the unit and wiped it out. And this thing also shot at the Falcon, bringing it to ten wounds suffered. Okay, Imhotek just fired. Uh, I did four wounds on the character initially, and then I called the storm to this area here, killed the character, and did three mortal wounds on those two bikes units. 
Okay, so this unit just fired at the Rangers. I used Solar Pulse to get rid of all of the nasty cover benefits, and I wiped them out. Uh, yes, I've got more shooting. Okay, that shot it killed one Guardian with its twin Tesla Destructors, and blew up that, and also caused two mortal wounds to Jane's R. Okay, and to finish up the shooting phase, the Chronomancer just finished off one of the people in that unit. Okay, uh, that thing tried to charge and failed, and they tried to charge and failed. Okay, in the end I got three for grinding them down and four for assassination, because that was the Warlord. On to Eldar, turn two. I am up to 18 victory points now, because I hold four objectives. Let's do my Strands of Fate. So what have I got? I've got an advance roll, a psychic test, a hit roll, a wound roll, and two saves. Um, I'm going to re-roll that advance for my Farseer. It's another save. What one shall I keep? I think I'm going to keep the hit roll and the three saves. My two Guardian squads have remained on the objective. Um, the Wraith Blades advanced, the Wraith Lore just walked. Vipers moved down there to give some backup. Um, they've all come together to see if they can take out the Lich Guard. Farseer and the other Wind Riders. Wind Riders? Possibly. Yeah, <laughs> I've moved over there. James R moved up there, see if I can do some damage before I inevitably die. The Wraith Guard moved a little bit, but they're going to try and take out this. And that is everyone. Let's do some Psychics. Let's move the Hemlock. Now it's moved, I shall do some Psychics. Hemlock cast Jinx, but failed. The Farseer cast Guide on the Wind Riders next to them. Shooting! Hemlock shot at the, what's that thing called? Doomstalker. A Doomstalker. And I did two wounds. Two wounds. Uh, James R fired at the... Immortals. Immortals doing... Three wounds. Three wounds to that. And then the Farseer and the Windriders fired at the Void Dragon. And I did a total of six wounds, which is all I can do in a single phase. No, three, three wounds, sorry. Which is all I can do in a single phase. Unit of two jet bikes fired at the Doom Scythe, doing a single wound to it. The single uh, Wind Rider and the Viper fired at Lich Guard, but the resulting damage was zero. The Wraiths and the Guardian shot at the Doom Scythe. As you can see, I killed it with a Starhawk missile, but the resulting explosion killed off one Guardian and one Wraith Guard. Okay, the only thing I've got left to shoot now is my other unit of Guardians. And finally, in my shooting phase, I fired the Sun Burst missile at the murder buckets, and I did one wound to them. Alright, let's do some charging. Jane Tar has got into combat with the Immortals, and will now attempt to destroy them. Jane Tar managed to kill five of them. They didn't do any wounds to me, and they unfortunately passed their morale. So two of them are still alive. Um, that is the end of my second turn, and I'm only going to get three victory points this turn. For holding three objectives. Right, Necrons, turn two. So in the movement phase, they sell back. This group stayed where they are. That thing moved over there, they moved up, and they deep struck, and they deep struck. Powers of the Catan. So in the Powers of the Catan step, I uh, killed James R and did four wounds on that. On to shooting. So that fight, that did one wound, and Imhotek killed, uh, finished off the bike and did one wound to them and killed that one there. Hit the Doomstalker fired at the Hemlock and managed to kill it. So these warriors fired at the Wraith Blades. I used Disintegration Capacitors and Relentless Onslaught and killed two of them in total. Finally for the shooting phase, that got Entropic Lanced. On to charging. So in the charge phase, both of these charges failed, with them getting one wound in Overwatch, and both of them charged that thing there. 
Right, so at the end of this turn, I'm going to get three for assassination, three for grinding them down, and three for engaging all fronts, because I've got guys there and there. So as we go into turn three, I now have 29 victory points. Still ahead, but I've lost about half my army now. I have some catching up to do. Let's start by seeing what the strands of fate have to give me. A one, a two, a four, a five, and two sixes. I'm going to reroll that five and get another six. Okay. So I'm going to have my I'm going to have my three saves and my charge roll. So I want to maximise the number of victory points I get this turn. With that, the Farseer and the Windriders have moved up to engage the Frayed Ones. They're still holding that objective and will also engage the Frayed Ones. Wraithguard! Let's see if we can get them off that objective. Wraith Blades are moving up to help them. I don't think they're going to be able to do anything this turn. Well, they advance, so they definitely can't do anything this turn. Um, the Wraith Lord is moving back to take these guys on, supported by the Guardians. Let's do the Psychic Phase. The Farseer cast Guide on the Windriders. Tried to cast Doom on the Flayed Ones, but failed. And then used the Unparalleled Mastery Stratagem to cast uh, Smites. And I killed two of the lovely little Flayed Ones. Windriders, Farseer and Guardian shot at the Flayed Ones. There's only three left. <coughs> Hopefully they'll fail morale check because I really need to destroy them this turn. Right, let's move on to the next target. The Wraith Lord and the Guardian shot at the... I've forgotten what they're called now. And I managed to kill two of them. Let's see what I can do with the centre. A very poor show. I only actually managed to kill one of them. And wound one. Right, let's do some charging. Well, not a great round of combat. Um, I lost two of my wind riders. And did I actually kill anyone in combat? Uh, no, you didn't kill No, I didn't. Animals. I fought uh, twice with Storm of Flensing Blades. Yes. Uh, over there, um, I didn't cause any wounds and I lost one and one was wounded. And over here, these guys just didn't touch each other. Very, very poor show. Right, so at the end of the turn, ah, I'm going to have to do some morale. So I'll roll for mine. So it's just that unit there that could possibly fail. Roll the dice. I roll the three, so I'm okay. And for the flayed ones. Roll the six. Ooh, I lose one. You lose one. And then combat attrition. Oh yeah, combat attrition. They're below half strength. So this means on the one or two you lose one. Oh, another one. Yeah, lose another <laughs> one. Hey. Well, could be worse. Um, so they can't fail because they only lost one. That's it. So I managed to destroy zero units. Yes, and I've destroyed none yet. But it's my turn now. Um, <laughs> I'm not holding three objectives because I failed to get them off that one. And I didn't kill any characters. So I actually get zero at the end of turn of my third turn. Let's see what the Necrons can do in their third turn. Yes. <laughs> so, uh... <coughs> Imotech did my will be done on them. This is reanimating them, that's still giving them an invon. Movement-wise, they moved up. And they moved up. And that's pretty much it. The thing used both both of its powers, failed to do anything with antimatter meteor, but did three, three mortal wounds. Yeah, with the voltaic storm. Onto shooting. Okay, so first off, the doomstalker and the katan shard tried to shoot at that, and failed to kill it. Failed to wound it. Failed to wound it. 
And then this big unit fired at those using disintegration capacitors and relentless onslaught and killed two of them. Coromance tried to see if he could finish him off but failed. On to combat. So in the combat phase I killed the wraiths, nothing happened over there and the Ophidian destroyer died. On to victory points. Okay, so I only get two for engaging all fronts. Because we both killed one unit and I didn't kill any characters. On to Eldar, turn four. So I am now up to 33 victory points because I hold two objectives. I'm one behind. I've got to do some catching up this turn. Right, strands of fate. What have we got? We've got a charge, an advance, a psychic, a hit, and two wounds. Um, I'm going to reroll that psychic. This Farseer is still alive. And that is another hit. I'm going to keep the charge. Um, the two hits and a wound. My Wraith Lord moved up. That now puts him in shuriken range of the warriors. Not going to do serious damage to them, but it's something to shoot at. Wraith Blade moved up. He intends to charge the Lich Guard. The Farseer is going to have to come over and engage him attack. I really can't do anything else. Um, that jet bike fell back. He did try to cut me down but failed. I think that is all my movements. The Guardians are as usual are staying on the objectives. See what psychic things I can do. The Farseer dooms the Lich Guard and smited Imatek causing him two wounds. Let's do some shooting and see if I can finish people off. Which I can't. Shuriken from this unit shot at the lone flayed one and killed him. The missile launcher, the Farseer, that missile launcher, and the Shuriken cannon fired at the Lich Guard. And I think I killed two of them, didn't you I? You killed two of them. I killed two, yay. Right. Um, the only charge I'm going to do is that Wraith Knight, sorry, Wraith Blade, and the Farseer are going to charge into combat. So the Farseer fought first. Did mucho damage, but because he's got no AP, didn't actually do any damage. Uh, the Wraith Blade did manage to kill one of the Wraith Guard, though. Lich Guard. Lich Guard. Don't kill Wraith Guard. That's my job. And now they are going to fight back. Yes. Imotec did two wounds to me, but it wasn't enough to kill me. And the Lich Guard failed to hurt the Wraith Blade. That is the end of the turn. So, did I kill any units? Yes. Oh yes, I killed the flayed ones. Just the one though, yeah? Yes. Right, I'm still not holding the objective, because I'm not objective secured. Neither am I, which means not, neither that, of us are. Literally what I just said. You said you're not. If I was objective secured, I'd be holding it. Yeah, I'm not objective secured either. I'm not holding it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, um... And what was my other one? Assassinate. Yes, I haven't assassinated anyone either. So again, I scored nothing this turn. This is really looking bad. Let's see what the Necrons do in return. So movement, all that moved were these two units over here. On to powers. So with powers of the Katana managed to kill off the Farseer and finish off that guy. On to shooting. So in the shooting phase, I killed three of them and did four wounds on that. Onto combat, charging. What happened in Charles' phase was Imotec. Okay, so uh, the Wraith managed to kill Imotec. He tried to resurrect, but he failed. But then the Lich Guard killed the Wraith. At the end of turn four, it's a victory to the Necrons. They're 11 points ahead of me. I can't make up. I haven't got enough units to capture any more objectives. But I've only got the one unit there, and he'll never reach there in time. I'm not going to kill multiple units. He might not kill multiple units of mine either, but that's not going to win me any games. And um, you've only got the one character left, and he's hiding all the way back there. Oh, two characters. Yeah. Uh, he's too tough to deal with. Again, two Guardian squads and a Wraith Lord aren't going to do any damage. So, it is a victory to the Necrons. Where did it all go wrong? 
Well, it first went wrong when my Howling Banshees and Jane Zar deep struck in with the Falcon and failed to get into combat. That was bad. Um, the Wraithlord was just meandering up and back. He didn't really do much. I think if I'd have given the Wraith Blades a Wave Serpent to get them up the board faster, they'd have been a lot more effective. Possibly the same for the Wraith Guard, so at least they did do some damage. So maybe in the next game I'll drop something, probably Jane Zara and her little entourage, and take a couple of Wave Serpents. Um, the Rangers, I deployed too far ahead. They were just asking for trouble. They should have deployed up here. They'd have probably done a lot more damage. The Hemlock, I think that was just bad luck. It was it was doing quite well. I probably shouldn't have tried to take on that thing. The Doom Doom Stalker. I should have stuck to taking out larger units. Maybe it should have tried to take out the Lich Guard a lot sim sooner. That's something to consider for the next time. Um, I did forget to resurrect Jane Zar when she went down through a stratagem. My bad. There's probably a few other stratagems I could have used. Although, to be fair, the Eldari don't rely on stratagems as much as other armies. So, that's something to like, at least. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this game. I enjoyed it. I'm going to alter my list and bring these guys back to the table soon. But for now... Goodbye.